It's time to have fun at the movies again. Here's your ticket, Stub. I'd like a seat in the front row. Quiet on set! We're about to roll. It's on cinema at the cinema. Lucky season seven. It's casino edition. It's casino edition. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Tim Heidecker and I usually am the host of On Cinema at the Cinema, uh, but today we're uh, not going to be talking about movies. Um, sorry. <clears throat> we're going to be uh, talking about my son, uh, Tom Cruise Heidecker, who passed away over the weekend. And... Uh, I'm joined, I have a wonderful panel with me, and um, Greg Turkington is here. And, hey guys. Uh, I don't usually get choked up about too many movies. Um, Old Yeller, or Brian's Song, Ghost. But this, this just feels as bad as any of that, or, or worse. And if you want to come by, you know, I will still make, make a selection of movies that might cheer you up. and put together a little care package for you from the Victorville collection. I don't mind giving them to you. I have duplicates of a lot of these titles. You know, Greg, um, we've had some problems, I know, in the past. A couple of weeks ago, we had a real blowout. and You uh, helped me out last week with the show, and, uh, and thank you for that. Thanks for being here. If you want to say something about Tom, that would be great. Yeah, he was really, really good to work with. Just a really good kid. I'm just really made the scene that he was in with Ayaka, his mother, and I'm just, I just want to be here for her and, uh, and for the memory of Tom Cruise Heidecker. I wish we could have uh, done more scenes together. Um, thank you, Greg. Um, I want to also thank, uh, welcome uh, Axiom, who's uh, been my rock. He's been a guy in, who I've been playing music with now for a while, and um, he's been up here since basically last week working on the mix and yeah it's a pleasure for me to be here yeah and you said unbelievable words of support because you had been through similar things you, you know and you're in a band you you're like brothers yeah exactly so yeah. I want to support you like so I don't really know what what, what to say you know? mm -hmm. yeah there's nothing to say really um, and finally dr. San here who's been with us me and Ayaka for the past few weeks trying to figure out what the hell's wrong with them and crack that code. And um, I'll be honest with you, Doc. From my own eyes, I can see you tried everything. And um, thank you for being here. Yeah, sure, I just, it's so sad. I don't know, I wish there was something else we could have done. Wow, well, what was there to do? You know, you went through. And we cleansed the house and we went on, you know, foraging for all the herbs ourselves out in the, in your garden. We tried magnets. I thought for sure that was going to pull the iron in his blood back into alignment. So many needles. No, we did. I mean, this guy was unbelievable. Just it sage, blown, burning sage and everything. And, and that just got rid of all the negative spirits. So I really don't know what else we could have done. We could have just taken him to a real doctor. I did what I was trained to do. You know that most people, where they get sick, is at the hospital. But he was already sick. He, he didn't get this from the hospital. If you'd taken him to the hospital and got a real doctor to look at him, instead of removing the magnets from the fridge or whatever it is that you did, he might still be alive. It's nobody's fault. And let's not start pointing fingers at each other or what we should have done. But if we would have brought him to the hospital, he would have even been dead quicker. Yeah, I, I think two things, by the way. The, the fact that we had those initial round of vaccinations, which I begged Ayaka to avoid doing, and uh, the black mold that existed in that apartment before we moved in. Yeah, we probably, because, you know, when you uh, wipe down all the walls with bleach and stuff, mm -hmm. you're actually just, you're killing everything, but you're letting black mold take yeah. over. Yeah, refocusing that negative energy into it. Inward instead of, yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, just a bummer. Just too bad. Uh, what we'd like to do now to honor my son is show a, a little retrospective, a um, video montage of some of his, because he was such a good actor. I know you guys got a chance to see him in some stuff. And he was an actor and a model, and he was going to go on to do such great things. I know it in my heart. And uh, let's take a look at that now. This beautiful clip put together by the On Cinema team. 
ladies and gentlemen, we have the first ever appearance of on television of uh, Tom Cruise, Heidecker, my son. Tom? Maybe one day he'll become an agent like Jack, like my, uh, Jack Decker. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, what do you think of that, Greg, in terms of what if, where would he have gone as an actor? We had some scenes in um, episode 18 of Decker versus Dracula that he was going to do um, with uh, Joe Estevez, President Davidson, that were going to be a bit of a stretch for him. and. Um, I felt very confident he would have been able to nail the scenes if, you know, if he had lived to do them and if the show hadn't been canceled. Well, thank you for saying that. Um, I want to share this with you guys. I got this, um, we got this as a gift for Tom, and that was going to be just a little something that he was going to wear. I thought this would be, would have been good for the funeral, but we didn't end up doing an open uh, casket funeral, so you don't do that with the kids under a certain age, so we just put them in there with nothing on. It is a birthday suit, actually. Just quickly do the movies for this week. And I didn't get to see these, but we Greg, maybe we you have... to do popcorn classics this week. I'm fine with skipping it. Rings, uh, directed by Javier Gutinez, uh, by, acted by Amy Teagarden, Johnny Galecki, Laura Wiggins, it's a ring horror movie. I check that out. Directed by By the Sea, Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt. You like Brad Pitt, Greg? Very much. Mm -hmm. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. We haven't seen them in movies since uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah, right. And I didn't get a chance to see that either. I've been dealing with funeral arrangements. I saw it. It was, it, was, it was very good. Five bags? Yeah, Great. you should see it. There you go. I'll give, I'll give it a... A five bag review too. Oh man, I don't know if we should have done this. You know, but I think by talking about it, getting it out, you kind of get a chance to heal. You get a chance to put some per share. First of all, share with the on cinema audience, who's obviously going to be feeling hard about this, and uh, just reflect on life and wonder maybe there's a master plan out there. I don't know, you, you were saying something beautiful at the service that, that kind of blew me away. I well, can't know, remember most of it, but. Like when a, a bolt of lightning strikes in the forest. It's the bolt of lightning. And some of the trees burn down, mm -hmm. and you just kind of let the fire burn, and mm -hmm. some of the trees end up standing. And we're standing today in honoring Tom Cruise. Um, I want to end with a song I wrote for my son. It's a dedicated song to him. and. Uh, we're just gonna play it, and it's rough. So, you know, give us a benefit of the doubt. We just kind of worked it out with Axiom um, not too long ago. And uh, who knows, it might end up on the record, we don't know. It's coming from my heart, so if you got a problem with that. Got you, that okay? That's awesome. Sounds good. Emma, <clears throat> here we go. And my heart is broken And it's turned to black And my future seems so uncertain Cause he ain't coming back Two, three, four, time it Farewell, Tom Cruise Miss you, son, and I wish you well. Farewell, Tom Cruise. Miss you, son, you ain't coming back. One, two, three, four. Farewell, Tom Cruise. I 
miss you, son, and I wish you well. Farewell, Tom Cruise. I miss you, son. You ain't coming back to me now. He ain't not coming back. He ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. cinema thank you very much for watching the season see you back here next week next year for more season of uh, on cinema and thanks for your thanks for your uh, condolences that'll be it for the show thank you guys for doing that thank Probably. you yeah. we got some coffee and desserts and stuff funeral if you guys want to grab some stuff we got a bunch of like that you know calzones and stuff like that sure let's get Japanese food. Hey, nice uh, idea for this is, you know, I'm not saying like as a B-side, but, uh, you know, the success that Tears Net. Yeah, yeah, right. We totally. can get right. con con yeah. connected with the story. It has probably that vibe. Like, I guess we should track it. Like, yeah, but I just don't want the chorus to get too heavy. I feel like it's too upbeat. It's going to be a great song. Right? Yeah, I want to just record it I now. Mean, yeah, so I know. We, I know so you, we can go and lose that energy. Yeah, totally. We lyrically, it's lyrically. I mean, it's ready. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah.